The University of Kentucky's Albert B. Chandler Hospital Facility is the fourth largest hospital in Kentucky. This facility is treasured for being the only level one trauma center for Central and Eastern Kentucky. When most people think of hospitals, they associate the stereotypical sterile white room and beeping IV machines breaking the silence. But Chandler's $592 million 12th floor hospital facility resembles an 18th floor hotel resort. From the interior decor of marble floors, a 90-foot historical mural, and the warming wooden walls that reflect the sunlight from the glass exterior, as well as the homely styled lobby, the Chandler provides a comfortable, relaxing environment for everyone who enters. Over the past seven years since the opening of the Chandler facility in 2010, there has been a vast amount of renovation and technological additions made to optimize this facility from all the others in the Lexington area. My name is Ashley Darrell. I am currently a freshman at the University of Kentucky and welcome to my podcast. Through this podcast, I will be seeking to distinguish whether these state-of-the-art modifications and technological incorporations produce more benefits or disadvantages to the initial purpose of the hospital itself, which is to provide care. I was able to get in touch with a student, Jillian Kilray who is a two-year nursing major. Despite the fact that she wasn't quite as familiar with the Chandler facility as I had hoped, I was able to interview her for her thoughts on some inquiries I had, as well as obtain any prior knowledge of the facility she had with past experiences. So Jill, what are some qualities and or features of the Chandler Hospital that appeals to you? I think the new, um, well, the building itself appeals to me. like. When you see a brand new building, at least for me, I jump to everything inside of being new as well. I haven't been inside like the rooms or anything, but walking through the hallways, I feel like I'm in a hotel. Given that you are a nursing major, how does the Chandler Hospital influence your decision in joining the healthcare route? Since I'm a nursing major, I think the hospital is definitely one of like Chandler makes me want to be a nurse even more. It makes me um, like hopeful for the future in nursing and all the new technologies and new advancements and donations. Like people want to get to hospitals and that makes me happy to go into that field. Do you feel like the Chandler Hospital is a facility you would like to work in? I think so, yeah. Um, if I choose to stay in Lexington, Chandler is definitely the hospital I would want to work at. People often neglect to acknowledge the role that the physical characteristics of a building plays. Similar to Jill, when I see a new building, I automatically assume that every aspect in it and associated with it is new as well. The whole scenery of the outside of the Chandler facility has the effect of drawing anyone who comes across it. The way the sunlight brightens the beige cement exterior, it provokes a more welcome environment before you even enter. Since I too will be following the medical route, I feel like Jill adequately explains how a hospital itself can serve as an influence behind your decision in following that career path. I believe the most influential factor is what's being shown and all the features and additions to the Chandler facility were made to appeal to everyone. As we all know, being in this technology advanced generation, we are conveniently accommodated with having everything at our fingertips. Numerous hospitals across the globe are developing their medical IT and incorporating them into their caregiving. I read in an academic journal called Medical Advancements Due to Technology by Shannon Lambden and a few additional co-authors, and it stated, Over the past couple of decades, humans have taken great pains to improve their technological understanding. By combining technology and medicine, scientists and doctors alike have been able to overcome enormous barriers through the development of more intricate and accurate technology. When I read this, I realized that there are so many benefits in the incorporation of technology in the medical field. The journal also said, technology is evolving and so is modern healthcare. Today's advanced medical technology lets doctors diagnose, assess, and treat health conditions in safer, more efficient, and more effective ways and ultimately improve and lengthen the lives of patients. 
Sedgwick, Susan Sedgwick, 2011. By applying the use of technology into healthcare, not only does it aid the doctors physically assist patients, but it also aids in building trust and relationships with them as well. Along with technology's dual contributions, it also can allure those interested in becoming a staff member. How do you think the technologies attract those interested in being employed at the Chandler Hospital? Oh, oh, um, like when I go into an older hospital, it makes me just like, I don't think I'm going to be able to learn this. It's just like an older person not knowing how to work like new technology. Like our generation is good with the newest technology and for me when I see that I'm like oh I could definitely learn how to do this and seeing that hospital with a little bit um, I think it's mind-blowing. What role do you think that the renovations and technological incorporations play in improving performance levels? I think well it depends again like on the person because technology is only as good as the person working it um, so clearly to get that technology their doctors have to be qualified and I think with all the advancements, the hospital is just going to, like, the doctors want to get better and um, all that. What makes the renovations of the Chandler Hospital important to providing care? Oh, I mean, if you get, like, someone, well, like, I know people are helicoptered in to go to Chandler and, like, all this. I mean, I went to Chandler a couple weeks ago for my hand and, um... Oh, like they were able with their technology to like be there for me like that like they were there so quickly and um, everything was like they were there but everything was handled like I was casted in a matter of like minutes like they wrapped it up really quickly and if someone comes in there with something they don't know they have the technology to treat them and um, I don't think that can happen in a lot of other hospitals. I agree that with sufficient supervision and management, technology is capable of providing assistance in patient caregiving. For instance, the device used for cardiac monitoring, this device allows continuous monitoring of the heart, thus doctors can determine the severity of a patient's condition and or the medications being given to them and how they are affected by it overall. In my opinion, incorporating technology into healthcare isn't only utilized just so that the staff could find a way of providing for the patient in a quicker manner, but to provide for the patients in a safe, more accurate way, thus completing treatment at a more favorable rate. More and more medical facilities are choosing to include medical IT into their caregiving as they become exceedingly advanced. Since the vast majority of hospitals are doing this, it may be presumed that it is more suitable to do so, but some fail to recognize there are some disadvantages of these integrations of technology. I wanted to know how Jill felt on the matter. Okay, so how do you think the renovations affect the staff in a positive or negative way? I think they affect the staff. Well, it depends on the staff. I think sometimes like the technology can be too intense because like with technology comes distractions like that's always a thing like texting and driving or like it, someone could be on like call or whatever but like doing emails or something on their computer I think in that way it could be negative but if it's used properly it's definitely a positive so how do you think the innovative changes in the channel hospital make them a more suitable facility in the healthcare industry I don't know much about the stuff in there. I just know about like the things that I experienced. So the thing I experienced was like, just like the simplest things, like a blood pressure cuff, like around my wrist, because like they couldn't pump, they couldn't wrap it around my arm and do it the traditional way. Like that was just so much more like high tech and efficient and everything like that. Um, so I think that like, for example, would just be something that makes them comparable to places like in Chicago or New York or like the big cities in the world. And I think Lexington is um, doing a really good job of focusing on their healthcare and putting them at the top. What relationship do you think the Chandler Hospital's renovations that a hotel like have with customer satisfaction? Oh, I think it makes like 
the families of like loved ones in the hospital, for instance, like much more comfortable. I know in one of my nursing classes, we went to the library, um, you know, that like glass pathway, um, and then you go up the stairs. Um, well, you go up the stairs and right on your left is a huge library where there's these people are like the nicest people I've met and they um, bring loved ones in there and teach them about their um, family members illness or things they need to do when they're released or medications and um, I think it gives a more like comforting environment and like that everyone's like there for you. What could be some disadvantages of the Chandler Hospital's new innovative look and additions? Well, definitely maintaining it. Money. Um, I think if they get the wrong people in there, it could be just destructive. But I don't. I personally don't see that happening. Um, what else? Maybe other disadvantages, like maybe people getting too comfortable where they don't want to leave, like. If someone that doesn't have very nice living accommodations goes to a hospital and um, is already treated and their family members are hanging out there a lot, maybe they might not want to leave, like the cafeteria foods included. Like, it, it is like a hotel. So I think that's a disadvantage. It develops like a reliance. Yeah. I remember a time when I had a loved one who was hospitalized for two months at the Chandler facility. And upon completion of her treatment, she was very reluctant to leave. After being there for that length amount of time, she was becoming accustomed to the furniture and services being provided. This experience opened my eyes and I then perceived that maybe these hotel-like renovations and accommodations aren't so much of a benefit to the hospital after all. Certain modifications can develop a patient reliance. Therefore, when the patient returns to their home, they discontinue recommended routines. Thus, going back to prior habits, causing them to return to the hospital for multiple similar treatments. I read in an academic journal called Technology in the Hospitals Transforming Patient Care in the Early 20th Century by Joelle D. Howell, and it said, a person entering a hospital today routinely undergoes laboratory tests that the attending physician uses in making a diagnosis. The patient, family members, and consulting physician all rely on the results of such technological inquiry often presents a number or graph or pictures produced by a machine. Medical technology becomes so persuasive in the hospital and also so convincing a tool, we rarely question its finding. Howell. After reading this, just this brief assertion he made, it was very easy for me to perceive that these medical ITs develop a reliance within time. Doctors and patients, as well as their loved ones, intuitively depend on technological readings used to determine the diagnosis and what procedures and precautions to take subsequently. By doing this, there are many drawbacks such as misdiagnosis from a newly defective machine or excessive reliance on the machinery themselves. In addition, as Jill said, the overall distraction technology can create in the workplace. As technology continues to advance with every new discovery, it is inevitable to remove the incorporation of technology in healthcare altogether. I believe that although the vast majority of hospitals are doing quite well at maintaining their machineries, there is more to be done. The Chandler facility, in particular, allows the staff and all University of Kentucky students, especially those who lean more towards the medical route, to get the opportunity to face these barriers head on, as well as practice how to utilize the combination of skill and technology. The involvement of medicine and technology in the Albert B. Chandler Hospital facility can serve as the start of a new beginning for everyone in the Lexington area. Since healthcare plays an essential role in everyone's lives, I hope that after listening to my podcast, you have a better understanding of how Chandler's medical IT can affect each one of us and how doctors exploit them so that we have access to the most preeminent care.